Now a Target 12 investigators exclusive ballot blues. For years now, turnout has been abysmal in local cities that hold off-year elections for mayor and with voters set to go to the polls again this fall, some advocates say it's time to blow up the schedule. Target 12 investigator and 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi joins us now with a closer look. Municipal elections don't get as much attention as presidential ones, but they probably affect the average voter more, deciding policy on everything from schools and taxes to police and plowing. On a snowy Tuesday last month, Attleboro voters went to the polls to decide a special election for mayor, the city's first open mayoral race in 40 years. I feel like it's really important for everyone to come out and vote. It's a great civics lesson, and people nowadays are so easily, they like to complain, but nobody does anything to take part in the the prob in fixing the problem. But few others felt the same. Just 17% of Attleboro voters cast a ballot in the special election, and such poor participation is no longer longer unusual. Local voter turnout in the 2021 municipal elections was 24% in Fall River, 19% in Taunton, and only 11% in New Bedford. Why? Many experts cite the declining circulation of local newspapers. They say social media has made people more focused on national politics rather than their own cities and towns. Others cite a lack of competition for local offices. We're watching the numbers every odd year get lower and lower. Cheryl Clyburn Crawford leads the nonpartisan group MassVote, which released a study showing local election turnout has plunged over the last two generations. The report found as recently as 1975, voter turnout in Fall River was 77 percent. That's why we're looking at doing taking some alternative steps and seeing what can we do to really encourage people to participate in the municipal elections. MassVote argues cities should move their local elections to even-numbered years so that voters cast ballots for local offices the same day they pick the president or the governor. We know that on even-numbered years, when you move the elections to even-numbered years, that you could possibly double, and oftentimes triple the turnout. And that's what we're after, really tripling civic participation and engagement in turnout. That's what happened in Rhode Island a decade ago when Woonsocket and Central Falls both moved their local elections to even years. In Central Falls, the number of votes cast for mayor soared from about 500 to nearly 4,000. James Diosa was mayor when the city switched. They felt that, you know, the low turn on, on, on odd years was making it very difficult for, you know, different candidates to get involved and hopefully uh, do a real challenge on incumbents. So is there any appetite in southeastern Massachusetts to follow Rhode Island's lead and move local elections to even years? Coming up new at 6, I surveyed the mayors of Bristol County's four cities to find out where they stand. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nisi, 12 News. Now more from our Target 12 investigators exclusive ballot blues. Amid growing concern over low voter turnout in local elections, we're asking the mayors of some of our region's largest cities where they stand on a proposal to tackle the problem. Target 12 investigator and 12 News Politics editor Ted Nisi joins us now with what he's learned. A decade after Rhode Island stopped holding local elections in odd-numbered years, the biggest cities in southeastern Massachusetts are still doing so, but they're drawing few voters to the polls. When Attleboro held a special election to choose a new mayor last month, 33,000 city voters were eligible to cast a ballot, but only about 6,000 showed up. That means just 17% of Attleboro voters cast a ballot in the special election, and such poor participation is no longer unusual. Voter turnout in the last round of municipal elections in 2021 was only 24% in Fall River, 19% in Taunton, and just 11% in New Bedford. We need people to really engage. Cheryl Clyburn Crawford leads MassVote, a nonpartisan advocacy group that's urging cities to move their local elections to even-numbered years so voters would cast ballots for local office on the same day they pick the president or the governor. We know that on even-numbered years, when you move the elections to even-numbered years, that you could possibly double, and oftentimes triple the turnout. And that's what we're after, really tripling civic participation and engagement in turnout. 
12 News surveyed the mayors of all four Bristol County cities about the idea and found a mixed reaction. In New Bedford, Mayor John Mitchell called municipal election turnout abysmal, yet said he's skeptical that a move to even years will do any good. But in Fall River, where a panel is currently weighing changes to the city charter, Mayor Paul Coogan says he's open to a change to even year elections. And in Taunton, Mayor Shauna O'Connell said she's already taking a step in that direction. She's seeking voter approval for a new schedule that would elect a portion of the city council every year. As for Attleboro, newly elected Mayor Kathleen D. Simone says she's open to a switch, partly because the city would save money by holding fewer elections. For now, though, all four cities in Bristol County are scheduled to hold their next municipal elections this November. With the Target 12 investigators, Ted Nacy, 12 News.